after Lord Tyrion of the Westerlands had surrendered, he was given a remarkably fair trial. King Renly, more merciful than the late King Joffrey, decided to send Tyrion to the Wall and seize the Lannister's ancestral seat of Casterly Rock. Lord Tyrion's brother, Jaime, who according to the rumors had gone mad in King Renly's cell, was released to appease Lannister loyalists and was even allowed to rule over his family's remaining lands in the west, most notably the notorious castle of Castamere. King Renly selected Edric Storm to rule as the new lord of Casterly Rock and lord paramount of the Westerlands. Edric, a young bastard son of the late King Robert and Elisa Florent, had grown up at Renly's court at Storm's End. His guardian had been Renly's castellan and new hand of the king, Sir Courtney Penrose. The boy had impressed many with his charm, strength and authority. Renly had also discussed the matter with his Westerland allies, who were assured de facto rule as advisors behind the throne during Edric's youth. To honor his new title of Warden of the West, Edric took the house name Shield. The Rivellands and the North would also see the appointment of new loyalist rulers. Brynden Tully, the Blackfish, was appointed as the new Lord of Southstone after the previous Lord's Rebellion. As part of an understanding with the remaining Lannister loyalists, Renly decided not to return Riverrun to the Tullys, keeping Lancel Lannister in charge. However, he did grant the Lord Paramountcy of the Riverlands to Lord Brynden, to rule not from Riverrun, but from his new seat of Southstone. The new arrangement in Riverlands and Westerlands was acceptable to both Tullys and Lannisters, though like any good compromise, neither house was very happy with it. When he had been Rob Stark's fellow pretender, Renly had had many allies in the north. But the new king lost much sympathy when, reluctant to raise his depleted armies once again, he decided not to revoke Winterfell from its steward Varys just yet. Instead, he negotiated with the eunuch recognizing Varys as regent and guardian for Rickon Stark until the boy would come of age. Lady Lyessa Flint of Widow's Watch, Renly's oldest and most trusted ally in the region, was appointed Lady Paramount and Warden of the North, with Varys' tacit approval. The move angered many northern lords, who were not willing to accept the scheming eunuch from Lys as ruler of the Stark's ancestral castle in any capacity. Even if Renly had avoided the dishonor of appointing Varys Lord Paramount, his lack of action in the north would come back to haunt the king. With all seven kingdoms now mostly secured, it was time for Renly's famously extravagant coronation ceremony. The event took place on the first day of the new year, 303 after conquest, and was the defining moment of the generation, just as the great tourney at Harrenhal had been 22 years before. However, while the month-long festivities were going on, in the west another echo of the past could be heard. Balon Greyjoy, king of the Iron Islands, still claimed independence. While Renly would most likely have been magnanimous had it come to negotiations, Balon wished to pay the iron price for his freedom. The king and his vessels had sent out large reefing parties all along the western coast of Westeros, raping and pillaging from all town to the neck. Jaime Lannister, now Lord of Castamere, barely escaped with his life as the Ironborn stormed and burned his castle, just as Jaime's father Tywin had done to its previous lord 42 years prior. The cruel irony was not lost on the Westerland lords, and the castle soon acquired a reputation for being cursed, even among those who were not normally superstitious. And so he spoke. And so he spoke, that lord of Castamere. But now the rain, we pour his halls with no one there to hear. Yes, now the rain, we pour his hall and not a soul to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome back to JJO Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, King Renly, the beautiful, of the Iron Throne. Yes, welcome back everybody. Um, as a channel first, I am uh, recording the commentary to this episode completely 
after the fact. <laughs> I had recorded uh, while playing uh, the, the most of my commentary, but it turns out I had recorded it based on my <laughs> my computer uh, sound, which was which, which which sounded very terribly. I I can let you hear some of it. Oh, welcome back to your boy. Randy, beautiful. Yeah, see, it sounds like I'm in like an empty room. So, I uh, I'm re-recording it with my uh, with my good trusty old Samsung CU1 Pro mic, uh, which is a lot better uh, better quality sound, I assure you. Um, so, last episode, uh, I don't know if I am there yet. It's going to be a bit a bit of get, taking it take a bit of getting used to, but uh, uh, together we will we will figure it out, guys. Oh yeah, and at this stage I was I was uh, wishing you guys a happy uh, happy King's Day, uh, which uh, last Wednesday it was uh, it was King's Day here in the Netherlands. Uh, it's uh, sort of the, king, the King's birthday, and it's sort of a national holiday where we sell, we do, we do sort of a, a national yard sale. So everybody, uh, many people, they, they, they put like a little blanket in front of their house and they put any, any stuff they don't want anymore, they put put on there and sell. Uh, Randy Bratton, yes, um, we can get started. Um, and uh, right now I am looking at the Westerlands. I'm looking at the Iron Islands, which is still independent. Uh, and I'm looking, of course, at ma our many loyalists, uh, among which is Brendan Tully. This is Edric Storm. Uh, those two guys we appointed uh, in the last episode. And in the north we have uh, the Lady Flint. And of course we have, uh, last episode we were declared war on by the, the foul Umbers of uh, House Umber. Uh, yes, there it is, Morse Crowfoot Umber. Who wants to liberate the north uh, back for uh, probably with himself in charge and uh, wants to take uh, Varys and uh, and my, my loyalist appointees out uh, let's see what happens uh, when we surrender to him yeah no he he, he takes it for, takes every every title from me so he will probably be independent uh, so we cannot have that you know I think if he would have if he would have asked nicely if he would have had the backing of uh, some of the major lords in the north we probably would have said yes, you know, we're, we're not married to our, to our loyalists, but, you know, if you are going to actually fight us, we cannot have that, of course. And, uh, yeah, we still have Lord Varys as Lord of Winterfell, who is also uh, being attacked. I think I noticed that later, but he's also being attacked by uh, by someone who wants to overthrow him, and I cannot really blame <laughs> that guy. I <laughs> probably uh, would have, uh, would have uh, done the same thing if I were in the north. So, Brendan Tully is going to be our new general. Uh, I myself will probably not be leading uh, any armies uh, just uh, just yet. You know, uh, I think Randley doesn't want to go up to the cold, harsh north. That's not uh, that's not his style. So we put uh, Sir Uthor in charge, who we should raise the nobility, because if you remember this guy, we hired him as a siege leader, and he's been helping us for 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 years. So uh, and, and and constantly our friends have complained that he is not of noble blood. So let's raise him to nobility. Sir Uthor Spur, remember the name? It's a family that has helped us out a lot. Uh, we can marry him off. Hey, that's that's Mircella there. A quick and attractive. <laughs> did you buy? Did you guys buy that? I said that after the fact. Sounded very spontaneous, right? Can we marry uh, Mircella off to our son, King Robert? Let's try that. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. No, I guess I guess Mircella is not in our court, and I guess I will take about three minutes <laughs> to find that out. Normally I would cut this out, and I think probably this time I will do as well. But uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at my court. Is she there? Is there a Marcella in my court? Courtney Penrose? Nope. Nope. Rickon Stark is in my court, though. I didn't notice that last time, but he is uh, the true rightful ruler of the North, and he's in my court. So we should marry him off also to someone someone nice. Maybe uh, to, to Shireen, maybe? Shireen Baratheon? We could do that. There she is, yes. <laughs> um, oh, she's already married to uh, Theon Greyjoy. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we, we, once we conquer the Iron Islands, we should actually give it to uh, to Theon, because I think uh, I think uh, yeah, he's matrilineally married to Shireen, so it would be it would, it would eventually get uh, get into the Baratheon uh, clan. The Iron Islands would. All right, Marcella. Uh, yeah, she's in Langworth Hall, so that's actually pretty close to us, but not in our court. Uh, I don't know, don't know exactly why. We can marry her off to Rickon. That's a good idea. We can marry her off to Uthor, of course, our newly appointed uh, noble. Hmm. Let's think about it. Oh, hey, she's uh, her guardian is Maester Lewin, the Maester Lewin. That's the the Maester of uh, Winterfell. He's a quite famous. Uh, yeah, not 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 a main character, but a quite important secondary character in the show and in the books. Um, 
And it's quite cool that he is the one teaching uh, Marcella. Does he want to join us? No, he's a, he's a maester, right? So he, he's appointed to someone. Uh, let's see, who can we betroth to? Yeah, Rickon Stark is a good choice, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rickon and Marcella. You know, Marcella is like the one... The one sort of decent uh, <laughs> decent Lannister kid. All right, Brynden is going to be our main general. Then we have Shadrick of the Glady, Shady Glen on the right flank. And I want kind of want Uthor on the left flank. I don't know why he's not showing up. Oh, he's... Uh, okay, I guess because we we gave him a noble title, something reset or something. That's fine. Let's put him in the uh, the left flank. And then let's wait for a while uh, for our morale to tick up over here in uh, Castle Kerwin. Yep, okay. He, he accepts the uh, the betrothal between Rickon and Marcella. That's fine. Thank you, uh, Lord Godric of Langworth Hall. Yeah, that's right, in the neighborhood of King's Landing. Uh, okay, and then... Oh yeah, Stannis, he's not, he's not our vessel at, at the moment. I guess he's still fighting a war. Can we form an alliance? No, probably not. No, he hates us. <laughs> he uh, really, really hates us. We cannot declare war on him either. We don't have a Casus Bella, even though... I think he's pretty... He's in the... Yeah, he's in the de jure... Iron Kingdom, uh, Iron Throne lands. But I guess uh, we have to wait. I guess he will probably get back under us. Okay, there goes the army of uh, Lord Umber. Lord Morse Crossfoot Umber. He is going east. Uh, we will go south a bit. Charge up our uh, our morale. Uh, I write to express my consternation at the fact Master Tyrant enjoys command of your armies. Okay, this guy. Master of Flea Bottom. Okay, he's leading uh, my, my troops. Um, yeah, I'm not married to this guy, right? He's not a great marshal. So if my if my vessels are really upset, I guess we can make uh, Merrick of Messi's Hook the new commander. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, he was not even leading my army, so I don't know what he was complaining about. <laughs> All right, he's splitting up his forces. That's a that's a dumb idea. Oh, Master Brendan of Dawn Forest has declared Dawn Forest war for Arnold's claim on Winterfell. On Lord Varys is suspicious. Okay, on Lord Varys. So Arnolf, who is Arnolf? Why does he have a claim on Winterfell? I can imagine that the North wants to overthrow uh, Winterfell. Let's have a look at the claimants of Winterfell. Yeah, there he is. Arnulf Karstark. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's, at least it's a Stark, you know. <laughs> I can imagine uh, they want to kick out Varys, you know. it's uh, He's a very foreign guy to the North. Alright. Um, we will move North to Winterfell again. I think our morale is charged up decently enough. And we will attack... Okay, wait. Uh, let's check where the river crossing is first. It's in uh, Winterfell, Iron Wrath, and Lonely Hills. Okay, then we'll go south and then north. Make a swinging movement. Flanking movement. From south to north. Oh, Roderick, Roderick of Harlaw is, uh, is losing me. Roderick the Reader. Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of the only Ironborn who isn't a dick. <laughs> he, is, uh, <laughs> he uh, at least reads a book sometimes. He's not only interested in killing and raping and pillaging. But, you know, I guess he is killing and raping and pillaging our land, so... Don't have too much sympathy for him, uh, and you know we will we will start. Uh, we will probably attack uh, the Iron Islands uh, any uh, pretty soon anyway. Uh, okay, what's happening over here in the north? Yes, we are making a flanking maneuver via Dawn Forest into the first army of the Umbers. Your grace, for too long, Robert Baratheon has occupied my rightful seat, and I will stop at nothing to take it from him. How many asked that you provide me with coin? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to give you money. In order to overthrow my son. My man. <laughs> you can't forget about that. Sir Harlan. <laughs> no. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I think this guy even attacked us earlier. I think he was, uh, was a claimant. He is a Durandan, I guess. Are we Durandans? The Baratheons? No, I think we are like Targaryens, right? Let's move uh, Let's move back. Yeah. So we, my uh, Oris Baratheon is like the first of the House of Baratheon. I think he's like a bastard son of, a, of the Targaryens or something. Yeah. Lord Arian of Dragonstone. Uh, yeah, let's press him. Yeah, so he, he is a, he's a Targaryen. So uh, Aegon Targaryen, Aegon the Conqueror. He is my... Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's got these, these swords, Dark Sister and Blackfire. And Aegon the Conqueror and, uh, and, and, and his two sisters are my siblings, my half-siblings. Or not my half-siblings, but my ancestors' half-siblings. So we, we, we got a little dragon blood in us. Ah! Great celebration surrounded my coronations concluded a while ago, but the trade and wealth they've brought. And I clicked it away. <laughs> well, I, we, we got some money because our coronation was nice. Makes sense, right? You know, people make new contacts. Oh, we, we defeated the first army of, of the, the Umbers. I think it should be a relatively straightforward war, actually. 
I think we can win it uh, quite soon. Someone discovered some plot that I uh, that is against me. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, how's he doing in this war? Yeah, there he just must have ran uh, Okay, he's uh, still at zero percent. He's not losing yet. Uh, Your Grace, I must have for this to be defeated. The reign of misrule has come to an end. I'm appointed Lord Regent. I don't care. <laughs> Get out of here. Good luck with that Harlem bowling. He's attacking my my son. <laughs> don't do that. Don't attack my son, man. <laughs> Is he attacking my son? He's still not at war. Oh, we're fighting the battle in the Dreadford. Dreadford? No, he's not attacking my son. My son is not at war with him. So I guess uh, he, he, he didn't do it after all. There we go. Okay, your enemy Morse Umber was slain. He was killed in single combat by the enemy commander, Lord Paramount Brinatelli. <laughs> okay. It's the Battle of the Geezers. We got uh, Morse Crowfoot, age 75. He was a strong, giant, skilled fighter. So in his youth, he was a pretty strong guy. But he was killed by someone else who was very old. Brandon, Brandon Tully, 60 years. <laughs> 60 years young. But he still defeated uh, defeated the man in uh, in glorious combat. Let's give him some money. I saw that he was in debt. We cannot have that. We don't want you in debt, Brendan. Let's, let's give him an honorary title as well. Paramount Knight. Yeah, he, de he deserves that. Oh, but small council advisor. Huh? We could put him on the council, actually. He's got 30 Marshall. That's decent, right? We can replace him with Loris. Do, do we want that? Hmm. Loris is our friend, right? I think Brendan Tully would be a better master at arms. Loris might be a better commander. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's switch him around. Let's make Loris a commander. And Brendan, the new uh, the new master of arms. I think he, he would be a better master of arms, you know. He's a legendary uh, sort of uh, war leader. Drinking some water. <laughs> yeah, we put uh, we put Bryn and Tully in charge there. The uh, the loyalist uh, Flint of Widow's Watch is still in charge of the north. Oh yeah, and the Ironborn are still raiding all over my land. I think we should do something about that. I think we cannot we cannot pretend to be a, be a king who protects his subjects while the the Ironborn are still raving around, <laughs> and while the ruin of Castamere. Uh, a ruin that was made there by, by Tywin Lannister is uh, ruined again <laughs> by the Ironborn in a cruel twist of irony uh, under uh, Tywin's son, Jaime, who is a lunatic and has chest pains. He really doesn't look great. <laughs> I don't think he has long to live. All right, Balon, get out of my land. Declare war. Oh, we, have, oh, we still have some army left. He's raised. Oh, in the south here, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Mace. We uh, we 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 we, we um, captured your whole army <laughs> to to attack one island. All right, royal claim on the Iron Islands. Hmm, what will happen? He will lose his crown and be named Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands, swearing fealty to the fealty to the Iron Throne. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Two hundred prestige. Yeah. We sadly we don't get to revoke it from from him. That would be better. We kind of want uh, Theon to uh, to join, right? Okay, all the major powers seem to be joining me, except for Mace. I think Mace is still fighting uh, fighting another war. Lord Tyrell can be the uh, Master of Arms again <laughs> after a very short absence. Uh, yeah, let's ready our army in King's Landing. Lord Paramount Robert is joining me. Great. Excellent. Lord uh, Lord Doran Martell is joining me. Britain the Blackfish is joining me. Welcome. Edward Storm, of course, joining me. All my loyalist uh, friends are joining me. Although I guess not Mace the Ace. Mace is, uh, is, uh, is fighting his own war, I suppose. That is fine. We should be able to handle it with uh, just the troops here. Oh, hey, we got a we got an extra loyal guy, uh, Lord Lester Morgan, against the Iron King. I think we probably gave him his title, right, Griffin's Roost. That's probably why he's so loyal. Let's have a look at that. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we gave this guy his title. Yeah, uh, plus sixty. Yeah, granted a high lordship. So it makes sense. He's he's my loyalist, right? I'm grateful for your loyalty, my lord. Very grateful indeed. All right, what what will we do? What will we do next? Okay, why do we only have twenty eight domain troops? How does that work? Hmm. I really don't know how that works. I really don't know why that that is the case. But hey, Lord Paramount Edric Storm is now of legal age. Okay, what was his education like? Oof. Okay, incompetent scientist. That's terrible. Look at this other trades, man. This this guy would have been great. It would have been like a marshal or something. It would have been like Robert incarnate, but. Okay, let, let, just to be safe, let's check if we are educating uh, 
uh, Lord Paramount Robert Wright. Yeah, we can have uh, Courtney Penrose uh, raise him actually. See if that uh, if that works. Okay, Granny the Beautiful. Yeah, we are raising our uh, our, our own boy, but uh, I think Courtney Penrose can do it. Uh, Lauren Caswell has been captured by Lord Paramount Maester of the Reach. All right. Well, maybe now you can join me, Phil and uh, the North. You'd better. I think they are uh, they are sitting this one out. For the North, I can imagine. Uh, I wanted to thank you for your virtuous rule. You're an inspiration to me. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> don't know why. Am I virtuous? I don't know about that. Uh, okay, how is the Mace doing in his war? 100%, okay. Well, uh, what uh, what's stopping you, Mace? End, end the war. We need your support in uh, attacking the Ironborn. Come on, come on, Mace. You, you've won the war, man. Just, uh, just declare peace. Just, uh, just be a bro, man. <laughs> it seems that Orin is Prime Minister. Uh, has sent, we sent to Stokeport to investigate rumors of a plot. Nah, it's fine. Are we still, um, we're still doing a plot, actually. Are we still, uh, yeah. Okay, we're still trying to kill that guy. The, uh, the, the, the adventurer guy who didn't attack us in the end. And I think he's still not attacking us, so let's, uh, let's stop the plot. All right, Mace. Uh, we can raise his army here, I guess, if he's not not able not uh, if he doesn't want to join us. I always don't think this. I always th think this is kind of uh, kind of a scummy tactic. You know, I think uh, you're not supposed to be able to just instantly generate all the troops of, uh, of one liege lord at like one location. So I try to avoid this usually. But you know, if Mace is not going to join me, and I don't have any the main troops, then you know I might as well. Uh, we only have 200 boats, so we cannot. Uh, Put everyone in there. Oh, I was to several weeks after I had a banquet. I heard about it and wondered why I wasn't invited. Aren't Lady Felice and I friends? Are they? I don't remember this uh, this woman. Uh, were we friends at some point? I don't quite recall. Lady of Stokeworth. Is she not the the woman that uh, that that, that Bra uh, Braun marries in the show? He marries some Lady of Stokeworth. Oh, we still have a buddy here, Alice of Gallows Grey, the uh, in King's Guard. We might appoint him as our. Uh, as our uh, Lord Commander at some point. Okay, let's go to Pike. Let's go to Pike with uh, all the troops we can muster. Or we can fit in uh, a couple of boats, I should say. Alright, let's attack Pike. Let's uh, try to capture Lord Balon and end this war. Who will put in charge? Where's our siege leader? Uthor, yeah. We can have uh, Shadrick in the flank, I guess. Oh, no, Leo. Shadrick in the other flank, maybe. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we do. Okay. Great. Then uh, let's uh, let's not waste time and attack Pike. Move back our uh, boats. Maybe get the next batch of soldiers uh, in. Let's see. Siege of Iron Holt. Yeah, seems to be going well. Seems to be going well. Um, yeah, there are our boats again. Okay, we raised some money. Peter Littlefinger raised some money for us. That's great. Lord Peter Baelish. What, 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 what's, what's his accent? I, I don't remember. It's, it's a very weird accent that uh, Peter Baelish has in the show, right? I think he does it deliberately. Uh, my oh, Eerie died. That's the, the bad mate of, uh, of Daenerys Targaryen. In, I think in the, in the books and maybe even in the show, there's kind of a lesbian thing going on with them. Or sort of, at least a sort of bi curious thing. Um, all right, there we go. I guess uh, I don't know if that, that happened in this game as well. Your Grace, an enemy host approaches intent on encircling the castle. What shall we do? Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, the Ironborn. <laughs> the Ironborn are besieging King's Landing. Oh, okay. What are we going to do about that? I guess we can disband the troops and re-raise them here. No. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> that was not smart then. Okay. Um, I think we should stay in the castle, right? I think we will be able to uh, retake it soon. Hmm. I suppose we have to move some troops over there. Mm, what what is what is the best strategy here? We want to yeah, ideally want to raise Mace the Aces troops, right? All in one go. Close to the capital. But we cannot do that at the moment because we have already quite some troops of him uh, raised. Yeah, and our own troops are not gonna cut it either. Mm, I guess I guess we need to we need to disband this army. And then, yeah, because otherwise we cannot press this button. Like, I guess we have to disband the army in the Iron Islands, and then probably also the army that's in the boats right now. And then we can we have to all disband Mace's entire army, and hopefully we can uh, re-raise it 
uh, over here. I'm still not, huh? Oh, no, we have to disband this army first. We'll lose 6,000 troops, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, 50k. All right. Bit scummy, bit scummy, but... You know. <laughs> I don't want to uh, I don't want to lose to Balon Greyjoy. Uh, we'll put Uthor in charge again. He's kind of our closest commander right now, right? He, we know him by... Uh, uh, by his exploits. Um, we made him a uh, noble. Okay, let's have our uh, morale tick up a bit before we attack. My wife doesn't seem very content at the moment. She wants more addresses. Sure, why not? Plus 10 fertility. That's fine. Oh, hey, uh, Courtney Penrose died. Our hand of the king. Long time hand of the king. I guess so. There's no, uh, seems to be no message. Oh, uh, maybe he... Let's, set, let's check. Let's check where he is. Penrose. Okay, this is in my court, I think. Let's have a look uh, in the, the main ledger. Uh, Penrose. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he, um, he became landed. Okay, he's in the Stormlands. Yeah, then he cannot be our uh, Hand of the King, I guess. Okay, who, who should be appointed Hand of the King, actually? That's a, that's a good question. Hmm. These guys are all not very impressive. Hmm. We could we could appoint maybe... Loris as our Hand of the King? No, he's a good fighter, but he's not good at anything else. What about Peter Littlefinger? He has pretty great stats. I mean, it's a terrible idea, I think, to to make Peter Littlefinger that powerful. But on the other hand, he is pretty great. Yeah, yeah. let's re reassign him. Hand of the King. <laughs> good going, Peter. Welcome. You are now the, some, one of the most powerful men in the kingdom. I hope you, uh, you will honor that. I don't think you will. Because <laughs> you are Peter Littlefinger. I, I think... Uh, Renly and Peter, uh, they don't hate each other that much, right? They kind of play the same game in the show. Who will be our master of coin? What about Lothar Frey? He's pretty good. Yeah, Lothar the Lame. He can join us. That's fine. We'll make him the master of coin and have Peter uh, Littlefinger as our... Oh, Yunkai accepted Queen Daenerys Stormborn's peace offer. Okay, she, she conquered Yunkai, I guess. She's, uh, she's doing... Quite well, actually, here in the uh, in the east. Hmm. No, they didn't conquer Yunkai, I guess. It's, I guess it was an emancipation war. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens next. Uh, oh no! I guess she did conquer it. Yeah, Marinese, New Giscari, yeah, they usurped a couple of places. Yeah. Now I, I think she she did capture Yunkai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slavers Bay, pretty much uh, completely uh, owned by the Nerys Targaryen there, and she's now going to war with Volantis. Hmm. That's not in the books. We have officially passed the book canon, I think. Attacking Volantis, huh? But yeah, it's over here, right? Uh, to the east there. Um, that's actually quite a bit closer to the Iron Throne. <laughs> but still not at the Iron Throne. So let's hope she doesn't attack us. All right, let's first deal with the important stuff. Okay, uh, Lothar Frey joined us. We can make him the uh, the Master of Coin. He's a pretty decent, decent guy. He's a Master of Coin. Mm, yeah, let's do it. He would also have been a pretty good spy master, but I think uh, Master of Coin is fine. All right, uh, is our morale replenished enough? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to move in. Else, you know, we may storm it or something. We may capture it. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's take uh, let's uh, let's relieve King's Landing with the army of uh, Mace Tyrell, our closest friend, the closest ally. You got your Sir Sir Shadrich of Shady Glen. Oh, my commander was killed. With the enemy commander Karl, <laughs> but at least we uh, we relieved King's Landing. We uh, spared it from another siege. We've had uh, quite enough sieges in the past couple of years. Okay, let's move to this army over here in uh, Bramford and move and attack. That is someone besieging Pike. Yes. Okay, good news. I guess it's uh, Edric Storm of the Westerlands that's besieging Pike. Yeah. Over here in the Crownlands, we are scaring off the. Uh, the Ironborn quite successfully, I would say. I uh, I, I, did, I did, didn't expect them to arrive at the capital as soon as they did. This guy wants to uh, wants to be employed. Yeah, pretty okay, Septon, but I'm not gonna pay 40 gold for him. Anyway, next battle. Lord Great John has declared last heart war for Arnulf's claim on, on the north on Lady Paramount Lyasha of the north. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So the Umbers are back at war again in the north. The, uh, yeah, I, I think I think she has to solve it herself for now. We cannot uh, we cannot help her out at the moment. 
But it's another Umber, I think, so... Yeah, I'm not really happy about that. They're turning out to be a pretty treasonous family. Yeah, let's move back to uh, the Iron Islands. Let's uh, load as many troops as we can in the uh, in the fleet. Yeah, let's go. Umber Uthor is still in charge. Let's uh, disband half our army. Here we go. The other 24k will hopefully fit uh, in the boat. Okay, what else is happening? Okay, we got some boats coming here. We have still uh, the Lord of Westerlands besieging Pike. Ah, right, Mr. Rell is done with his war, joining us now. I hope that doesn't mean that we lose all his troops. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, Mace, were we, uh, did, were we in debt to you? I'm sorry about that. Here's some money. We, uh, we're going to have to have, keep a look at that, because I don't want to be in debt to, uh, to my buddy Mace. We have to uh, repay uh, that loan in full. Let's give a personal loan, 25th of 6th moon, 8309. Okay, 8309. So we are going to have to, uh, have to uh, save up some money for him. I don't want to be in debt with Mace Diaz. I'm kind of surprised the Iron Bank hasn't come knocking, because I think the Iron Throne also has some debts there, but they uh, they never complained. Uh, the, uh, the 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 Lannisters we were able to attack. Ah, okay. Um, Lannisters we were able to attack, and Edric Storm is now the. Yeah, it's, it's it's too bad he's an incompetent scientist, because otherwise look at these traits, man. He would have been a great, a great guy, but it's it's too bad that that uh, that he's an incompetent scientist, like the worst scholarly trait. You have to really pay attention to the, uh, to the to the the education of. Uh, actually, yeah, we need some more kids, right, Marjorie? We really need some more kids. Can we? Should we do seduction? Can we seduce Marjorie? I am gay, so I don't know if that works. Let's have a look. Seduce Marjorie. Uh -huh. Marjorie is desirable for friendly sexual orientation. No, I guess not. No, that's that that, that that's too bad. I guess you know. I guess I thought he would do it as sort of uh, his duty to the realm. You know, he would try to seduce his wife, uh, just from a sense of duty, not so much from a sense of uh, sexual uh, <laughs> sexual desire. Um, but, okay, I guess we can't do that, so that sucks a little bit. At least we'll have a bit more uh, fertility. That's fine. Uh, let's, uh, I guess we cannot move everybody in the boat, so let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's split up some, uh, some forces. And here I am, <laughs> boggling around a little bit, <laughs> trying to find the button. Even though I've played this game for many hours. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay, let's uh, remove this troop, these troops and uh, move uh, on the boats and move to Pike. All the way down. All the way down. Yep, let's go south all the way around Westeros. Back to the Iron Islands. And uh, Lord, Lord Doran Martell is protecting us over here in the capital from uh, that band of Ironborn there up north. Only 300 guys though. Uh, your Grace, for too long, Robert Baratheon. <laughs> okay, did, again, this guy wants to move against Robert Baratheon. No, he, he's my son, man. He's my son and heir. What, what the hell are you thinking? Why, why are you even get, going to me? Oh, uh, Marjorie Tyrell wants, uh, wants a reward for her loyalty. Uh, we can give her something, I think. She's my queen, after all. She's my queen. She's my queen. As, uh, <laughs> as uh, Jon Snow would say. Well, what, what, what should we give Marjorie? Is there like a crown for the Reach? Because there's a crown for pretty much every kingdom. If there's a storm crown, crown of the rock, falcon crown, crown of winter. The falcon crown is, is the airy, I think, so the, the veil. Randy's crown, that's my own crown, that's what I'm wearing right now, crown of the rock. Storm crown. No, I guess there's no crown for the reach. Uh, so we might have to just give her a normal crown. Yeah, for example, the crown of majesty, yeah. The hooped crown is made from gold and decorated with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we... We, we can give her uh, a nice air. Look, she's my queen after all. She deserves a good crown. Although I do like the crown she has already. Uh, still, we can give her a crown. That is fine. Where is it? Um, crown of Majesty. Yeah, there you go. My wife, enjoy. And please continue doing your uh, your council duties. All right, let's go north. We're already at 75%. And let's see uh, if we can uh, besiege Pike. Oh. Already been captured by Master Desmond of Halfway and taken to Stonehenge as a prisoner. All right. All right. Okay. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Vessel. I didn't even need to uh, to move to uh, to Pike. All right. You will be my vessel. He's released from prison. Okay, that's too bad. I kind of wanted him to uh, to be able to call him for a trial for uh, for reaving, for example. 
Ah, you're welcome, uh, my wife. Enjoy that crown. You're f uh, fully welcome to it. Let's uh, move back to the capital with our boats. Yeah, the wars of between the great powers have died down. And we can... Uh, ah, can we appoint the old council? Yeah, let's make uh, Brynden the Blackfish the new master at arms. And uh, maybe we can switch around the rest of the council as well. So, lo so Lord Peter Littlefinger we could, uh, I guess, replace with... Uh, Stannis? No. The Doran, for example. He's pretty great. And the Master of Whispers. We could also replace with Doran, because he's also pretty good at that. Hmm. What else could we do? Uh, yeah, I, I think we can... Well, uh, we could also just make Lord Peter Littlefinger our our uh, Master of Whispers. And then appoint uh, Doran Martell as Hand of the King. That's a good idea, I think. And uh, reappoint Counselor. Oh, Seduce Peter. Seduce Peter Baelish. Hmm. <laughs> we could do that, I guess. We could do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. why not? Fun, right? So I think we take a dim view of my preferences, but at the risk of a scandal, I'm about to seduce S Sir Peter. Uh, I humbly ask you that you intervene on behalf of uh, me against the aggression of Lord John Umber, who is invading my lands in obvious contravention of the peace of the realm. I would be entirely grateful for your support in this matter. Yeah, sure. We could we could ask John to to uh, to stand down. But do we do we want to? Do we prefer him maybe as as the Lord? Hmm. Rickard the arrogant. Rickard Carstark. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. He's a Carstark. But I think the revolt. Ah, okay. So still someone is fighting against Varys, but. Not yet winning, I suppose. Random Mullen is not yet winning. But it is it is an Umber again. So the Umbers already attacked us. So they are already a traitor family. And I, I think... No, I, I think... I think I am going to ask him to, to, to step down. I don't want the Umbers to sort of win on their second attempt at, uh, at retaking the North. No, no, no. I think I will, I will ask him to stand down. I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just, and such you have no right to command me to stand down. Uh, I can uh, command you that, and you have to obey as well. You're a traitor, my man, or should we, uh, should we appoint someone else the rightful ruler of last hearth? Maybe we'll allow it. No, no, we're not going to allow it. People will think we're weak. Hmm. I could give someone else the, the claim, or I could brand him a traitor. I mean, he's an umber again, right? We're going to have to brand him a traitor, right? Cannot let this stand against this house. Whereas, yeah, Morse, Morse Crowfoot Umber was killed by uh, Lord Paramount Brendan Tully. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's make him a traitor. My man? Okay, hand of the king. Doran, yes. Let's make Doran a new hand of the king. He's a pretty great uh, candidate, I think. And uh, the Dornish don't mind us so much anymore. Alright, uh, cool court out of hiding. I don't know who is in hiding. Is my wife pregnant? No. In that case, uh, let's get out of hiding. Uh, anyway, in any case, uh, let's have a look around at our realm. Yeah, let's just band our troops. Let's do that first. Then let's have a look at uh, what's happening up here in the north. A midnight snack. I managed to chance upon Peter alone in the kitchen. When he came down for his usual late, light, late night snack. We talked and talked and left for hours. And I can tell the attraction is growing. Hoping I've read him correctly, I lean in to whisper in his ear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, loose suggestion, right? Virtue was strong in this one, okay. <laughs> he walked away while stammering. Well, if you can get Peter Littlefinger to uh, to stammer, you've done something right, at least. <laughs> or something very wrong, one of the two. <laughs> I think it's fun, you know, the relation between Peter and Renly. I uh, <laughs> I think it's cool. All right, yeah, the Iron Throne, the, uh, the, the Iron Islands are back under our fold. Um, I think we're going to end the episode uh, shortly. We're going to have a look at, uh, at what Brandon... Uh, we're probably going to have to... Uh, Edric Storm, yeah, we, have, we have still our loyalists uh, here in, in the West. We have Edric Storm. We have now ba the new Balon Greyjoy, who really, really hates us. I kind of want to imprison him again. And I also kind of want uh, Theon to inherit. Yeah, no, you know what? We're going to murder him. We're going to murder him. Because we want Theon to inherit, right? Because he is matrilineally married to Shireen. Shireen Bratty. And Shireen actually turned out quite good-looking. You know, she she does have the the gray scale, but uh, she's uh, she's she's not ugly, you know. All right, I think uh, 
from the top of my head <laughs> because I'm still recording this after the fact. I think that's probably it. I think I'm now saying goodbye. So uh, yeah, as, uh, as our last action this uh, this episode, we uh, started a plot to kill Balon Greyjoy. Next episode, we will be fighting the war in the north. Man's Raider is still ruling as king in the north, and he has been ruling there for about uh, seven years. And also, I think I think he's at war with somebody. There might be more dangers lurking beyond the wall. <laughs> Some uh, some of our old friends might have popped up, and they're actually at 62% against uh, Man's Raider. An army of the dead might be approaching the wall, guys. <laughs> That's unexpected. I think we're gonna have to deal with that. This character is a white walker, yeah. Yeah, some of our old, old, old friends popped up again. While we were fighting here, the tide of the white walkers arrived behind the wall. All right, well, let's deal with that, that uh, next episode. See you guys then. And bye-bye. Uh,